Introduction to Neural Networks for Java, Class 2, Part 5. Welcome to Class 2, Part 5. In this part, we're going to learn about bipolar numbers and, in particular, how they are used with matrices. Certain neural network types use bipolar numbers. Bipolar provides a way that you can easily map Boolean numbers into the floating point values that matrices and neural networks commonly require. For example, the false value of Boolean is re represented as negative 1. True is represented as positive 1. This is really all there is to bipolar numbers. True is 1, false is negative 1. This allows the Boolean numbers to be represented in such a way so that you have the full numeric spectrum from negative to positive, but you're representing just true or false. This works particularly well with Hopfield neural networks, which we'll, we will be learning about in the next class. The equation that you see here can be used to convert a binary number into a bipolar number. Of course, you don't need to use an algebraic equation to actually make this conversion. Like I said before, negative 1 is false and 1 is true. However, this is how you can represent this conversion algebraically. This equation makes sense. For example, if you were to pass in 1, which is binary true, 1 times 2 is 2 minus 1 is 1, which is 1, which is binary true. If you were to pass in a 0 or false, that's going to be 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. So false, which is 0 in binary, has basically been converted to negative 1. This equation is used inside of the bipolar support classes provided by this book. There's also an equation that allows you to go from bipolar to Boolean. This is the same as the previous equation, only in reverse. So you're going to pass in the negative 1 or 1, the bipolar, to this, and it's going to return the binary 0 or 1. If you pass in a 1, true, it's going to be 1 plus 1, 2 over 2, which is going to be 1. And that is, um, that's Boolean true. If you were to pass in negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so that's 0 over 2 which evaluates to zero, that is binary false. This equation, like the other, is used by the bipolar support classes that are provided by this book and used in this course to make these conversions. Now we're going to see how you can use code to actually work with a matrix that makes use of these sort of numbers. And here you see a code example that makes use of the bipolar conversion. We create a simple two-dimensional array called Boolean data2. This array holds true and false values. Normally you couldn't pass a Boolean array such as this into a matrix class to be initialized. To pass this into the matrix class to be initialized you need to use the bipolar utility class that you see below. The bipolar utility provides a method called bipolar to double this takes the true and false values and converts them into the corresponding negative ones and ones of bipolar notation. You can, use, you can use this bipolar utility right in the constructor call to the matrix class. This will create a valid double-based array that can be passed into the matrix to initialize it to these values. And here you see the actual matrix that is created as a result of using the bipolar conversions. If you look at this matrix, it is using the double type numbers that the matrix requires. However, you'll notice that there's only two types of numbers here. There's the negative ones, which are the bipolar equivalents of false, and there's the positive ones, which are the bipolar equivalents of true. By using that, you can represent true and false in a matrix in a form that the neural network can accept. Neural networks do not work with Boolean values. They work with floating point decimal numbers like you see here. By using 1 and negative 1, you're using values that are on opposing ends of the, 
of the range of numbers that the neural network accepts. This allows you to easily represent Boolean numbers. This concludes class two of Introduction to Neural Networks for Java. In the next class session, you're going to learn how to apply the matrices that you learned about in this class to a Hopfield neural network. We hope you will continue with class three. This course is based on our Introduction to Neural Network Programming books for Java and also Introduction to Neural Networks for C Sharp. Available in both paperback and ebook format.